All right, here's the thing. It's not just an award show. It's a festival. It's an entire thing going on. I'm coming out, I'm juggling, I'm doing a little bit of soft shoe, I'm going to spread some sand. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, man. Uh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's the bomb. Actually, the, probably the coolest thing that's going on is because it's the 25th anniversary of uh, the daytime Emmy. So they've got like footage from all the stuff going back to the very first one. And so that's what I mean. Barbara Walters was, was the first host, along with Peter Marshall. Both of them are coming back. I mean, Barbara Walters has given Oprah her, uh, her Lifetime Achievement Award. And so I'm going to try and be in the wings and try to get Oprah to adopt me. I'm like, Oprah, if you need, you know, if Stedman's in your way, or you just need, you know, I can just, I'll just be on your arm and just look pretty. Just <laughs> but um, the whole thing's just going to be off the hook. It's going to be fantastic. Has the vibe been pretty tense or nice and relaxed with Dick Clark and Lewis Horvitz? Dick Clark, he's always relaxed. I mean, he's got the, everything is down pat. And the, the man is easy to work with. The Daytime Emmys, I think we kind of brought the Daytime Emmys in in the 90s. So around 90, 1990 or 1991, we did the first primetime Daytime Emmy show. Uh, the most difficult part of my job as a director on any of these live shows is getting the show off the air on time. It's the best laid plans of mice and men, no matter how many letters you send or how many requests you make uh, for people to keep their speeches within the time limit. The show begins to get longer and longer and spread, and when it does, we have to make cuts on the air in terms of uh, packages or entrances, and whatever it is we might have planned might just be a, a total audible from about two minutes into the show to the very end. So that's probably one of the most difficult aspects of it. I think three years ago, three years ago, uh, again, CBS made the major move to take it out of the uh, banquet type situation into a theatrical uh, look. And they investigated Radio City Music Hall. Everybody said it was uh, far too expensive and difficult to do a show there. It was way too big. And uh, the unknown commodity would be, uh, would the fans show up? And, of course, the rest was history. If you look at the very first show, it was very humble. I think we had a four-piece band that day. It was done outdoors. It's quite a grand show now. Literally hundreds of people are involved in the making of an award show. It's a, like a giant domino display. If anyone fails to do the littlest job, it all falls apart. Where do I keep my Emmy? Very good question. We did a joke on this one time. Where do you, I, I wear it around my neck all the time. I just took it off for this interview. You caught me uh, off guard. I keep my Emmy in my little uh, private office in my home. It's a very, it's a very personal thing. I, I'm really uh, blessed and fortunate that I, I, I have won an Emmy. I have them in my office in Burbank, and uh, I don't have any memorabilia at home to speak of. It. I have two lives, one private, one personal. Uh, I, that's, not, that's redundant. That's pretty stupid. There's a blooper. Save that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing goes to waste. <laughs> Hurry up, man. Christoph, we want that. There's mileage out of that. <laughs> one private and one personal. What an idiot. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's crazy. I'm, Lisa Gibbons is amazing. I mean, being on stage with her, you just sort of mellow out. You know, I'm up there going, Coo -coo -coo, and you, she's standing there next to you. Everything's under control. She makes it real easy. The Emmy is validation, it's recognition, it's uh, reward for what you've done by your peers, so that makes it more meaningful, I think. But I don't think anybody does it for the awards, and I think that it's, uh, it can bring a show, for instance, some presence, some stature, uh, some recognition, but it can't bring the show ratings, it can't bring you a renewal. It is a nice crowning touch. Um, I think in the movies, an Oscar can be translated into box office. In television, the Emmy doesn't quite work that way. But I do think for individuals, it can probably get uh, better jobs and or more money and or uh, more power. Um, I don't know because I don't have one. I would do the Emmys as long as they will have me. And I personally happen to love to work for Dick Clark. I dig Dick Clark in the biggest way. He's like my hero, my mentor. Love him. And even though Dick does like for you to do the show on time and on budget, thank you very much. Uh, he runs a tight ship, and it's fun to watch him behind the scenes because he's such a producer. And that, all right, audience, we're a little long, a little long. Can you work it for us when we come back? And winners, please keep those acceptance speeches tight. And they do. I can just say this, though. If I ever win, if I ever get up there, 
I am ignoring Dick Clark, and I'm going to thank everybody and his brother. They'll have to be playing that theme music and bringing out the hook to get me off stage. Give her the hook. <laughs>